It was a day that no one has forgotten. Today marks the 20th anniversary of the Columbine High School shooting in Colorado. You're taking a live look now at a vigil being held in Clement Park. That's in Littleton, Colorado. People have gathered to remember the 15 students and one teacher killed when the two teenage gunmen opened fire on the campus. 20 others were hurt in the mass shooting. And just one month to the day after Columbine, Georgia faced a similar tragedy in Rockdale County. In recent years, there's been a big focus on school security. Our next Sturdivan takes a look back at what unfolded this day 20 years ago and what's been happening since to keep students safe. These are the faces of the lives lost tragically two decades ago. And this is the image that remains etched in everyone's mind. April 20th, 1999, two Columbine High School students gunned down 12 classmates and a teacher in the Denver suburb of Littleton. Exactly a month later, 15-year-old student TJ Solomon entered Heritage High School in Rockdale County with a pistol and rifle. He shot six classmates, non fatally. Prosecutors say he was fixated by the Columbine shooting. His assistant principal, Cecil Brinkley, disarmed him. So I took off, went down the hallway, and, and met him out there and uh, told him that uh, he needed to give me the gun and stop the shooting. So he lowered the gun down and and then he did hand it to me. Solomon was released from prison in 2016 after serving 17 years. Following other school shootings like Virginia Tech, Sandy Hook, Parkland, the issue of school security has been a hot topic. In the amended budget for 2019, I have included $69 million in one-time funds for school security grants. This year, Governor Brian Kemp promised the state's nearly 2,300 public schools $30,000 to implement school security priorities. Which allows us to really work collaboratively with our city of Marietta and take federal funds and really figure out how can we get more programming and support in our buildings so that way our children feel the impact of this 30000 The Keeping Georgia Schools Safe Act bill was sent to Governor Kemp's desk last week. It will require public schools to prepare a safety plan, require drills based off those plans, and establish a task force.